Things are heating up in northern BC's Cassiar Mountains. There is Jade here. First one of the year. <laughs> Let's crack this open. Ding a ling. This doesn't get any better than this. This is a game changer. The Bunce family is back. Canada's favorite mining family is on the hunt for million dollar jade boulders, and the road to get there has never been this rocky. Here to tell us more are the stars of the series, Claudia Bunce and Guy Martial. Good morning. Good morning. morning. How are you? I'm, so, well, I'm great. <laughs> it looks like things are great for you. So we could say the jade runs in your veins, couldn't we? Oh, absolutely. And, and you run the whole operation. Okay. Give us a context of, of what this world of, 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 of jade is like. How much do we have in Canada? How hard is it to find? Well, we're hoping there's billions of dollars of it in Canada, <laughs> and it's really hard to find. Otherwise, everybody would do it. Yeah. So, but what goes into deciding, all right, we're going to go over here to take a look as opposed to over there? Gut feeling. Is it gut? Is it really gut? Geek? you got to go with your gut sometimes, absolutely. How often is your gut right? How often is your gut wrong? It's been wrong many times. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. It's more wrong than right. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so there's that, and then there's also timing. Uh, what's jade mining season like? How long does it last? We, uh, it's May to September. Mm -hmm. We get ready in May, June we start mining and... If we're lucky, we have 100 days. Yeah. Okay. And, and is, is part of the prep deciding exactly where you're going to go, where you're going to focus your efforts? Well, I think the biggest part of our prep is having all the equipment ready. And it looks like it's not because we break down a lot, but we really do put a lot of prep into being ready to go. Yeah, lots of prep on the equipment. And, you know, when a lot of people think mining, they think helmets and pickaxes. Yeah. But there's, this, is, this is an evolution of that, isn't it? Yeah. There's, a, there's a big truck that you yeah. drive in the show. Yeah, he teaches me how to drive a rock truck this year. But honestly, you know, if the guys have to do it, then I have yeah. to do it too. And if they can do it, I can do it. Yeah. So I just had to prove I could do it. So, so what, are, what other kind of equipment goes into it? So you've got this truck that we see right here. We have excavators yeah, and yeah, calf. Uh, bulldozer excavator. And what was it like for you to drive this truck? Scary. That was real. That was not my comfort zone. That was right out of my comfort zone bubble. It looks. It look. It doesn't it look looks like peaceful there. Yeah, oh yeah, it's it's not. No. <laughs> it's and there's not. a lot at stake. I mean, this is your truck, right? Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah. So if I do anything wrong, or if I uh, go in a wrong rut and I'm tipping over, there's not like there's a lot of tow trucks that could come and pull me out. And I'm going to kind of guess you need that truck for whatever yeah. you're doing next. Yeah, it's a pretty important vehicle not yeah. to wreck. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty nice when it makes it to the mine. Huh? <laughs> you know, so, so it's, it's out in, in a remote area. It's a lot of, a lot of hard work. It's a lot of sacrifice. Yeah. But I, I have to guess that you love doing it. Or you wouldn't, you wouldn't go back. What is it that you love about jade mining? For me, it's uh, treasure hunting. Got to go out and find that one rock at least. You find more better, but yeah, treasure hunting. Treasure hunting. It's the adventure of that. You know it's there. You think it's there, but you got to find it. Yeah, and everyone's depending on you to find it so we can continue to mine. Because if we don't find no treasure, we can't mine. Well, exactly. So, so talk to me about this about this season three. What can fans expect? Because the first couple of episodes focuses on you traveling to the the mining camp, mm -hmm. and then after that, what, what can we expect? Well, you can expect us to be a family and a crew that work together to try to find jades so that we can continue. Because we're just not looking for a treasure. This is our way of living. And if we can't make money... Um, it's your you lifeblood. Absolutely. Yeah. And we all want to live there. We want to be together. I mean, we all are family. We're really close together. And this is what we all want. So we need to find the jade. Is it, as, as a family business, is this something that you was passed on to you, or, or did you pick it up your, yourself? How did, how did Jade and you come together? Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's something you can just pick up and decide you're going to be a Jade miner. No. <laughs> well, blame your dad. That would blame be, my dad. That, that would be a different show. <laughs> oh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, my dad, uh, you know, in the 1960s, went up the Cassier Highway and saw these Jade miners, and um, he thought he could just do better, and he changed the industry, and... And then here I am. He decided to retire, and I decided I didn't want to retire and live in the city. So we built a city, 35 people. It's getting a bit bigger now, so we might have to move into the mountains. But, yeah, we built Jade City. And lastly, uh, people at home are going to want to know the value of Jade. Like when you find one of those big boulders, what, what number do you see in your head? Million dollars. Million dollars, yeah. Every time. E really? Every time. Every single time. If you have to vision it, we're vi visioning <laughs> a million-dollar boulder. Well, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on season three. We look forward to following your adventures and hopefully yeah. season four. Yeah, hopefully. All right. Well, be, check out, be sure to check out season three of Jade Fever premiering tonight on Discovery.